All right, here's another story I jammed on where people are, it's just a case where people can't use um, logic, common sense, or decency to um, um, to really resolve conflict. So, yeah. So, a conflict between women, one woman, two women, left one deceased and another one is going to be in spending the rest of her days in a jail cell. Now, apparently, oh, no, assuming she doesn't get this full, full judge is going to pretty much give her that proverbial slap on the wrist. So, so one woman is dead and has been taken to police custody following dispute in Spalding, Clarendon this past Friday. The deceased has been identified as 26-year-old Jardine Grant. Ports are for police at about 2.15 p.m. The accused was heading home when she was pounced upon by Grant, by Grant who threatened to kill her with a knife. A knife tussle ensued, uh, which the accused managed to arm Grant and use the same knife to stab her. Wow. Uh, and so Grant was seen in hospital, which was pronounced dead. So, so when upon reading this, though, I would say that yeah, this looks like a case of self-defense right here. Defense right here. Even though people say, okay, well, how come she use the same knife to stab her and so on? Cause uh, so on, but cause they're not naming the lady who stabbed her. All right, cause. But apparently, well, I always thought that Jordan Grant was the actual victim, but apparently she was the aggressor who pretty much tried to kill this woman and unfortunately for her that plan backfired in the worst way for her and yeah all i can say is pretty much this though is that there is much more to the story than it because obviously these two women have been beefing for a while like these two probably did not this is in the case where she said you know what i'll just I just listed that that devil on my shoulder. I'm not going to assault this woman for no good reason because I can guarantee you these two had some issues for a while and this has resulted in one of them being dead and another being police custody. And I also apologize. I assumed that it was going to be a case where Jordine Grant was the one that was attacked by this unknown woman who was in the room. But apparently the unknown woman was clearly just defending herself right here but it's going to be interesting to see what stories come out because i'm just wondering what led to this i just really hope for to be honest that's not a case where they're fighting over a guy that they decide okay that both of them were in a lover's triangle they seen the same guy and jordy said you know what i i can't uh, that you know to get with this particular guy that she I had to take this other woman out to the picture I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case or maybe it's some other kind of familial drama or maybe there were friends falling out um falling out and this was the end result but yeah this is just messed up and i'm going to say this i'm of the old school if you're going to at least fight somebody go physical at least fight hand to hand like if it's two others been going um, just been going at it unarmed whoever got their ass beat or whatever that would have been one thing, but like I said, like when you use a weapon, especially on someone who's unarmed, yeah, you're a coward. And I'm not saying this woman deserves to get stabbed, but this is something about her mindset if she's going to stab someone for whatever reason. And then unfortunately it didn't end well for her. But all I can say is that there's much more to the story. It's gonna be interesting to see what comes out of this. Uh, out of this because again i know that there's more there's something that led to these two women getting physical before one of them ended up dead and other ones now in police custody so this is for state of jamaica and the caribbean check out my other youtube pages miles Gus and Farron, miles of productions with thoughts and miles all right